In here, Cody. God damn it, hit the lamp. See you next week, John. I can hardly wait. Got this car really running good. What was the time? We did a 107. Way to go, baby. Good drive. Look. Look at this car, Bill. This car's <laughs> tits. <laughs> Take it easy. You too. And you, woman. Mm. <laughs> Rodney, that cowboy sure can drive. June, I'll bet he can. I'm just testing my new little tape recorder I got. They say all private investigators need one so they can keep a record of their daily routines. I hope my days are never routine. Like today, I went out and watched my old friend June Knockers, spelled with an H, test her race car. God, she's got some great moves. Started at the pistol range. I went over and hit the target. Well, at least I hit the board that held the target. Just pulling up to the marina now, where I reside. Well, that's it. 10-4, adios. Over and out, good buddy. Cody, as you know, uh, we're on the Yacht Club Committee. And the fact that you have brought this most obtrusive thing here is beyond our comprehension. You must get rid of it as soon as possible. Now, Doug. As you and the uh, committee all know, my daddy founded this shot club more than 25 years ago. My daddy and I also built this for my mama, God rest her soul. Can't be torn down. Not just yet, anyway. <laughs> hey, come on. My daddy's representing the shot club in the trans pack. Well, Cody, he'd do a lot better if he didn't have an all-girl crew. He's been lost four times in six days. What's he doing out there? All girl crew. Oh, we just got blown off course. He always was a rather eccentric young man. <laughs> Mama was afraid of airplanes and boats, but she loved trains. She was killed last year when a private rail car jumped the track. So in her memory, Daddy and I painted a picture of a caboose and put it up in front of our boat.
Dun, dun, ba, dun. God, I hope that's a cigarette lighter. Oh. Hi, I'm May, and this is my friend Faye. We just arrived from Corpus Christi on my daddy's <laughs> boat. We're in the slip next to you, and since we're going to be here for a while, we thought we might like to get to know you just a little bit better. We think it's a neighborly thing to do. <laughs> we didn't think you were ever going to get out of the shower. Well, uh, how'd you girls get by my security? <laughs> we have our ways. We oui. I must be living right to have these lovelies pull into the slip right next door. You know, we haven't got, got our water hooked up yet, and we was wondering if maybe May and I could come over and take a shower here. Oh, you poor ladies. Let's see what I can do for you. Just <laughs> right down here. We've got a problem. The Russians are five years behind us in computer knowledge, yet they're stealing our stuff right out from under us. How? First, they tried to buy some banks in the San Francisco area to obtain the computers and chips. <laughs> when that didn't work, they set up industrial fronts to buy all the best computers. They send them to friendly nations, and then, then the Russians pay enormous amounts of money to obtain them from our uh, so-called allies. There are entire companies here that do nothing but this. We're coming down on them just as fast as we can. So what does that have to do with me? I was having a wonderful vacation in the south of France. We've traced one of the major operations to the home of a dear old friend of yours, Lady Lillian Chamberlain. I don't believe... We want to get somebody in there and check out what's going on, but it can't be you. You're too close to Lady Chamberlain and the household. No one should suspect anything. Who else can do the job? Oh, I have someone in mind. In fact, I was with him earlier today at the Yacht Club. I think you'll be impressed. Name's Cody Abilene. My new readout pager says that Douglas F. Wilton wants me to call him. Urgent. He wants me to go see some European Contessa named Luciana and get to know her. He says she's good looking. Good evening, Cody. Please come in. Contessa, oh, I'm not late. Hold me just a minute. For sex. I have a few things to fill you in on. Pleasure before business. I like that in a woman. I'm in love with the girl in the center for the Playboy magazine. Hey, Cody, where are you going, She's darling? Uh, in the morning, ladies. Come on over and go dance. I'd love to, but I gotta go to work. I feel like take it easy now. Come on, Cody. Come on. 
Contessa Luciana somehow talked me into taking the Douglas F. Wilton job. I'm heading up to Bel Air now and... Oh, no. Not the Buffington family. We got you now, boy. We are gonna tear you a new butt. Yeah. With what? <laughs> With my son's little white Pontiac over there. Yeah. With that little thing? Sports car is gonna eat you up. You think your car's fast? Wait till you see what this one. Thirty years ago at Charlotte, my daddy beat old P.L. Buffington here in a stock car race. He's been mad at our whole family ever since. He's got Doreen, his fat wife, and his boy Bobo here in the feud now. Old P.L.'s just dying to have his boy beat me in a race every chance he gets. All over the road. That's All right, where do you want to go do this? Box Canyon. Just follow us down. Yeah. <laughs> see you at Box Canyon. <laughs> Come on, boy! You're gonna lose it now! Hey, Cody! Me and my car's gonna get you, boy! Let's go! Come on! You don't have a chance, some of those rounds. My daddy's old's going. It's coming good. It should be uh, done in a day or two. You're really gonna like this sucker. We'll deliver it over to your yacht. You got anything I can use in the meantime? Well, I got this old black Ford over here. Keys are in it. Okay. Oh, uh, I got a couple bags in the DeLorean. I'll get them for you. Thanks. Well, I'm still heading for Bel Air, to the home of Lady Lillian Chamberlain. Contessa Luciana's father and Lady Lillian were lovers in Europe several years back. They're still friends. Luciana moved to this country from Italy and has remained close to Lady Chamberlain. Lady Chamberlain wants me to stay at the house for a few days just to check things out. Bel Air has nothing but Rolls Royces, Mercedes, Cadillacs, Ferraris. So I pull up in this borrowed Ford. But hell, with my sophisticated style, good looks, nobody's going to pay any attention to what I'm driving. Howdy. Cody Aveline, Lady Lillian's expecting me. Come on in, you're late. Nice car. She's up by the pool, follow me. Luciana told me Lady Lillian had broke her leg in a skiing accident. She'll be in this wheelchair for about three more months. Mr. Abilene, how very nice to see you again. Lady Lillian, you're looking wonderful. Thank you. Shane, bring in Mr. Abilene's bags. You got a real charmer there. People say I'm crazy, but I just know there's something going on in this house behind my back. My nephew, Stuart, his wife, Anita, and my niece, Liza, all live here with me since their parents were killed in an accident. Then, of course, there's Shane. You met him. And my maid, Marion. She's a friend of Shane's. Wait till you see her. She is really off the wall. Oh, jeez. Mm. Oh, so much butter and tennis. <laughs> Shane, Shane, where the hell are you? Damn it, I'm late. I gotta get back to the house. I'm finally getting a chance to meet the Chamberlain family. Don't know where that child is. 
Liza's coming down in a minute. I said hello earlier to Anita's husband, Stuart Chamberlain. He's okay, I guess. He seems a little light in his loafers, though. Oh, Liza, there you are. You're late, dear. We had to start without you. Liza, this is Cody Abilene. Cody is our house guest. I noticed your car. <laughs> really nice. Yeah, well, I like to drive. I just bet you do. Cody, do you cook? Hmm, not much. Well, what do you usually make for dinner? Reservations. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> the Chamberlain family is an odd mixture, to say the least. I had to leave right after dinner because twice a week, I meet with my lady cop friend, Sergeant Beverly McAfee, for a workout. Usually we go dancing and playing afterwards. Tonight she's got to go back to work, though. Damn. This place is filled with great-looking bodies. Exercise is okay, but girl watching is what I do best. I love looking at the gorgeous Diana. Whew. The luscious Lorette. Oh, my. And the outrageously sexy Peggy. Beverly's still one of my favorite ladies, though. Did they ever give you the night off, Beverly? Nine to five looks so good right now. Oh, no one ever told you being a cop would be easy. Hey, Luke, take a look at that chump over there. Yeah, I know. She's into the little boys. I don't know if she's seeing them. She needs to get herself a real man. Oh, I see we got a couple of new show-offs working out. I wonder how things are working out back at the Chamberlain place. Damn you, Shane! You Stuart? Stuart, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing. I thought I heard something. Times crossword puzzle. Can I help you with a word? Oh, you don't mind if I join you, do you? Oh, this is a great day. No, you don't have to be nice to me. Oh, I insist on it. Us Texas boys are known for it. <laughs> That's really some bullshit. Thank you, Maid Marion. How about some lunch? We have some escargot. Snails? No thanks. I make it a point never to eat anything that leaves a trail. <laughs> of all days to be stuck here. My Mercedes is in the shop and I really need to get to Palm Springs. What about Shane the chauffeur? Forget that son of a bitch. Well, can I drive you where you're going? Sure, why not? Shane's probably slipping it to Anita anyway. I believe you Texans call it laying pap. They get it on at the beach house. So, uh, what's your friend's name? Jonathan Harper. He's in computers. He buys and sells them worldwide. You know, a lot of people have been caught selling those illegally to communist countries. I assume he's legitimate. Jonathan's reputation is fine with me. I'm investing in his company. Besides, I only asked you for a ride, not your opinion. Oh, okay. There's Jonathan Harper's building, Cody.
Jay, the new computers are coming in next week, and I want you to have a look at those also. Yes, sir, Mr. Harper. Hi. Liza, darling, how are you? This is Cody Aveline. He drove me here. My Mercedes broke down. Your car is always breaking down. Well, that's the way it goes. Cody, my name is Jonathan Harper. Howdy. How do you do? Liza, have you got the financing we talked about? Yes, I do. Thank you. Hey, what about the other hey, night? Hey, hey, yes. Look at those legs. Hey, look here. at the face. Oh, look at his body. Yeah, great looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> Call it. The lady's an investor. Investor? Hey, look, uh, Liza. I think we've seen enough of these gentlemen. Let's get out of here. No, I, I'm staying. I have business to discuss. Suit yourself. Liza, these are three of my friends, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. They're here to help us. Do me a favor. Wait over there for a few minutes, darling. I'll be right with you. Okay. Okay? See to it that his ass leaves these premises. Yeah, and the rest of his body, too. Hey, you, why don't you pull over for a sec? I gotta talk to you. That's okay. I can find my own way. If you don't pull over, I'm gonna f put you over. He's a pretty boy, isn't he? What, are you looking at me? Yeah, maybe. Guys, guys. Look, you don't want to mess with me. See this body? This body is a lethal weapon. I could kill you guys in a second. <laughs> I'll show you lethal weapons. Uh. <laughs> oh. Fastest thing on this lot. Come back real soon, you hear? Yeah, right. Boy, that was really a trip to Palm Springs. I got my whipped, my borrowed car shot up, and I was raped. You know, time to see just what the hell's going on around here. Sure shame. Well? Well, I owe a guy some money. He's being a nuisance, that's all. How stupid to let your scuzzy gambling friends call you here. 
Come here, baby. What the hell with you? Maybe it'd be all right to have some things said about you. What said about me? Handle. I don't know, like, uh, maybe something about this rich lady and ex-con who's been living in her house? Right, the house man. And what's been going on right under her queer hubby's little turned-up nose. I got some state-of-the-art video on you, baby. I wasn't going to show them to anybody. Your husband doesn't know anything. I'm not stupid, Shane. Anita, baby, come here. I hope to hell the gamblers get you, Shane, and I hope they tear you in little bits. Okay, Shane, let's go and take me to the club. Shane is driving Stuart in the Chamberlain limousine. I'm following them along the Sunset Strip. I heard just enough outside of Shane's room to make me wonder what the hell else he's up to. Well, they're making a U-turn and stopping across the street. I'm really surprised an ex-con would assume my morals to be an issue. How very naive of you, Shane. You can only get away so long with performing here for kicks. I'll take my chances. You'll have a better chance to continue playing queen for a day if you help me out. I need 30 big ones right away. Why, that's blackmail. How would you like to go back to prison for another five years? And wouldn't this be cute of us in the Gazette? At you on the bottom, sweets. Suppose I were to take this threat seriously, which I don't for a minute. To whom would I entrust the money? Me, of course. Tomorrow night at Lady Lillian's charity party. It doesn't leave as much time, does it? But then why should I keep you in suspense? The answer is no. Now drive me to the entrance. Shane's pulling the limo in front of the screaming cockatoo. This should be good. Hi. Stuart, you look wonderful. Thank you, I feel good. <laughs> I don't believe this one. Stuart has just turned into the most gorgeous woman. I love that dress. Thank you. Like, huh? Yeah, you great legs. <laughs> love it. Thank you. What a day I had. Really? Let me tell you about it. Come on. Tell me. I knew he was different, but wow. Do me a favor, Frederick. Please don't forget to come to Lady Chamberlain's tomorrow. It's very important. Oh, I won't, Stuart. I'm gonna have to work, but I'll definitely be there. Thank you. Here's to it. On the tray. What an assortment under one roof. Lady Chamberlain thinks I'm here to check on her family. Luciana has me involved in espionage. God, I love intrigue. God, I love Luciana's white dress. Let's have some champagne and toast my art selling trip tomorrow. I'll toast, but I better stay alert tonight. Can I have some designer water? You are continental. We'll have a safe flight. Let's toast us being together tonight. 
You know, we have worldwide computer investments for those people who've trusted us with their finances. We've made enormous profits for them. Things look even better in the future. You know, Jonathan, I think your interest in our little Liza here is something just a bit more than financial. Luciana, I mean, Contessa, would you like some champagne? You know that snake? I spent a few days with Lady Lillian last month. He was around then. Hey, Tommy, look who we got here. It's Maid Marion. You look very foxy tonight, Maid Marion. Just because we all work with Jonathan doesn't mean you creeps can put your hands on it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hello, Shane. Hello, Dick. What are you doing here? We control the catering service here. You know that. I'm here to collect the bread you owe us. Remember? Yeah. What well, time's running out? I'll see you later. Stuart Chamberlain, please. Yes, it's very important. Tell him it's Frederick calling. Hello. Hello, Stuart. Did you forget about our date tonight? Of course not, Frederick, darling. Where are you? This is Shane, Stuart, darling. Remember, tonight's the night. I need that money. I told you, you thieving bastard. I said no, and I meant it. for the bread, or guess who's dead? Now listen! I am not leaving here tonight without the money. Now you get it up, or I'm gonna cut your face. Hey man, don't cut me. Please, please. You understand? Yeah. Tonight. She got raped this afternoon by two homosexuals. One held her down and the other one did her hair. <laughs> Hors d'oeuvre, Mr. Chamberlain, slut. Good night. Thank you so much for coming. I'll be you ready. Please take me to my room. Yes, Lady Lily. Hi, this is Regis Philbin, along with my wife, Joy. Tonight's program is about love. The whole world depends on, on love. Exactly. And I think people should respect each other's feelings. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you have that respect... I got some love you for you, Regis and really Joy. Love. But it's really the love that, that engenders that respect. Oh, Stuart better show up with that money. Dick's gonna be here soon. He's not gonna wait much longer for that dough. Damn it, what am I gonna do? <laughs> you know, we were talking about love the other day, and I, uh, I guess I can't forget some of the things that were expressed here about relationships and about how people really should feel about one another. 
men and women, men and men have that basic love for one another. It's so important, it really is. I think you're right. There's no sincere, I think it's the lack of love that's killing us all today. Uh -huh. Exactly. People uh -huh. can relate to each other. After all, love is what makes the world go round. Great today. I feel hot. Drink to that. Shane, you win some, you lose some. Poor Shane. Luciana, the plane leaves in a couple hours. I want you to get out of here. I'll vouch for you. We were together all night. I'd rather stay here with you. I'm worried. Don't worry, I can take care of this. You really don't want to get involved. I have to call the police now. What's going on in his room? Anita? What the hell are you doing here? I don't know. I don't know. I just came in through the uh, servant's entrance. I saw blood. And it's a chain. I <laughs> think such a, a mess. I, I just got here. It's a shock, I guess. Go in the house. Tell everybody meet me by the pool. Go! Do it! Let's see. I saw Shane put those pictures of Anita in one of these drawers. Well, they ain't here now. Hmm. There's blood on this camera. Looks like it's got some exposed film in it. I better check this out. The killer must have jimmied these drawers open. Hmm. Oh, this is a terrible thing. Shane was such a good driver. I know. I'm sorry. I feel it was my fault. I wouldn't say that when the police get here, but I was the one that hired him. What you meant. Excuse me. Uh huh. I just can't wait to see you. Oh, baby, the sound of your voice is driving me crazy. Oh, I'll tell you, baby, I'm, a, I'm only as big as a beer can, but I'm real long. You know? Oh, yeah. God. I know what you mean. Oh, Myrna, when you get hot and you let your husband watch, it makes me very crazy. Hi, Sally. It's Cody Abilene. You got anything for me? Cody, you sexy, gorgeous cowboy. Cody, tell me what you're wearing. I bet you're wearing those sexy, tight jeans. I'd love to have you here. Too much. Cody, I want you so bad. I want to feel your manhood pressed against me. Oh, I understand. Baby. I want you so bad right now. Okay, look, I'll get back to you on that, all right? You sexy man. Your tongue would... Get on the horn and get the police over here to the Chamberlain house as soon as possible. It's a homicide. God. I wish you could come through this phone right now. Yeah, look, just call the police, all right? I'll talk to you later. Did you learn anything, Cody? Yes, ma'am, I sure did. I'm gonna go take a cold shower. Now, the police will be here in about five minutes. Y'all wait right here. The police could have me thrown in jail for withholding evidence, but I want to be the first to see this film when it's developed. Now, I better hide this goodie before they get here. Governor, 
Some layoff. Yeah. Lieutenant Arledge, Beverly. Cody Abilene. I should have known you'd be involved in this. Come on in. I'll show you the way. How well do you know this guy? Oh, pretty well. Well, I know him very well. Don't let that cowboy charm fool you. He graduated summa cum laude from Texas University. Chamberlain family. This is Lieutenant Arledge. How do you do? Sergeant McAfee. Hello. Good morning. Lady Chamberlain, this arrived in my office this morning. It's for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, my. Ah, uh, they're of you. Taken with Shane. How cozy. Take them, Lieutenant Arledge. Uh, can I take a look at this? Nice composition. A lot of focus. Hard evidence. They were taken at the beach house. How could you, Anita? Uh -huh. Lady Lillian gave him a key to the beach house. When? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. He left with the lady couple about 20 minutes ago. Okay. Well, maybe we'll find something at the Chamberlain Beach House. Lieutenant Arledge thinks Stewart did it. Oh, yeah? How come? Those pictures of Shane and Anita we saw a while ago. That's a pretty strong motive, don't you think? Yeah, I guess. He had the opportunity, but so did a lot of other people. Clues, pictures, electronics. <laughs> but you know me. I just like to cover all the angles. Oh, yes. Speaking of angles, uh, have I told you how good you've been looking since you've been going to the gym? Well, no, but I'm glad you noticed. Of course, I uh, haven't had a chance to take in the whole thing. Well. You in for a treat. So are you. Oh, really? Talk about a soap opera. We should have our own show. Sure was a good old boy. I got all day for this. A chicken private eye, a hag, and a roll of film. I'll take that. It's my case. When it's murder, the police take control. Besides, I paid for it with my very own body. And you were worth every frame of it. Well, thank you, kind of man. Piece of cake. Let's go, Tommy. Did you just hear something outside? Shower. Check it out. Cover us outside. Go ahead. Go for it. Make my day. Look out! Go for it. Make my day. Are you serious? Got him. Ah! God damn. Look out 
up, Beverly! So, uh, who knew we were coming out here? I almost hate to say. Lady Lillian? You got it. Damn it. Okay, I'll call the lieutenant over at the Chamberlain house and tell him what happened here. Okay. Look, if you can handle the cavalry, I'll go to my boat and get a couple things done. Okay. Call my service if you need me. Cody? I need a kiss. You gonna be okay? I'll be fine. Beverly's right. Who else knew we were coming out here? Could Lady Lillian be a suspect? Nah. On my way back to the marina, I stopped by the grocery store to give me a peanut brittle candy bar. I just need to think things through. Oh, no. Not the Buffington family again. What's wrong? You yell! I don't want to race you guys. Come on. All I have is this junked out old Dotson Z. It wouldn't even be fair. Fair? You want fair? Go to church, boy. Come on, let's go. Come on, I'm ready. Let's go. Come on. I'm just going to expect you just to raise you. So are you ready? Watch it. Watch it, Tony. Hey. Hey, how about that, huh? Damn. Now they even got a low rider. <laughs> Come on, Bob! Once again, I've been disgraced by the Buffingtons. I'm rapidly losing face. If I don't whip their butts next time, my daddy's gonna whip mine. Careful. This cowboy killed Peter and Tommy this afternoon. Watch him. Stay here and cover us. Okay, Matt. What are you doing here? Never mind, move over. I was hoping you'd say that. Shouldn't we take your boots off? It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on, girls. This is serious. Oh my god! Wait a minute. Yeah! No! Oh, no! No! Oh, 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 no! You girls, stay here. Do not leave this room. Babe, what's going on? Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, babe. Oh, God. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. No. What's going on, Gabby? What the hell is that about? Oh, my. You shot me a goddamn.
sure you don't know where that film's no, at. No, I don't know what you're talking okay, about. You better not be holding out on me. I'll tell you right now, because that pisses me off. get away in that caddy. Well, I better get the girls off my boat so I can get a little sleep. Hello. Jesus, Beverly's cracking on. Listen, Cody, the lieutenant just arrested Stuart Chamberlain for Shane's murder. He found some pictures of Stuart and Shane together. Listen, Beverly, I got something to tell you. I, uh... I found another roll of film there over in Shane's dresser before you came over. You held that out on me? Yeah, well, it was my case first. Well, it's not your case any longer, cowboy. I sure would like to get that film developed. Do you really think the film's that important? <laughs> no question about it. They tried killing us for it yesterday, and I was told by a couple of... Lady Lillian, I'm very sorry about Stuart's arrest. I'll be in touch with you later. Thank you so much. Sure. Where is she going? Well, Springs, ma'am. The raceway? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Maid Marion. You may have the rest of the day off. Thank you very much, ma'am. Hey, Beverly, how do you like this Oles? Belongs to my daddy. He loves cars and gadgets. They're on their way to Willow Springs. Don't count on me for your party. I'm going to Tijuana for the weekend. There's a brown Cadillac back there. Wonder if it could be the one from last night. You better stay on his ass and don't lose him. I'm on him. I got him. What are you? Hey, I'm on. with him. What do you want me to do? Make miracles here? I got him, don't worry. You better stay on his ass and don't lose him. Next time you drive, okay? I don't want you drive next time. Get him right now. Take him out of the van. Don't lose him. I see him. All right, relax. What the hell is wrong? Run the van. We'll get him on the neck. He's gone that way. You missed him, you son of a bitch. Matthew, next time you drive. Hey, June. Hi. What are you doing here? Thought you'd be on the track. Oh, I just have to make a few adjustments, then I'm going out to practice. Who's that, your older sister? She's a working acquaintance. Where's Rodney? Up in the press room. She's expecting you. Thanks. Hi, Rodney. Hi, how you doing? This is Beverly. Hi. Hi, Beverly. Nice to meet you. Thanks for doing this for me. We need this film developed. Sure, no problem. Well, by the way, it doesn't have to be good, just fast. Fast, not good. Huh, sounds like most men I know. <laughs> but I bet you'd be different. <laughs> now, just get in there and call us when you're ready. Okay, okay. Look, Beverly, June's out there. Sure can't handle that car. Hey, here's one that looks a little different. Looks like somebody's standing in a doorway. I bet that's a picture those goons were after last night. Listen, can you reprint that one and just blow up the face? Sure, it'll take a couple minutes. Okay, we'll, we'll come back. Come on, let's go look for that red car. All right, we'll find this. Go.
Here's that blow up you wanted. I'll be damned. Can you believe this? Well, we better get on this one right away. Thanks. Let's go! Let's go. Away. 
circle around him and we'll land on the highway. Then his ass will be out. Get over that mountain, you bastard. Wow, goodness. Alan, that must be one of those new turbos. Woo! Out of gas! Out of road! Damn it. Hey, Luke, let's get that turkey with the broad. Come on! All right. Come on! Uh, go! Go! $100,000, you think they could have doors? They're from all the two! Come on! Come on! Yo! Get down! That cannon he's got? What is that? It's a 44! Move out! Come on! Wait, wait a minute, let's not kill him. You're right, let's, Luke, let's, let's just wing him. him. Let's just wing him and break him. Come on, Tommy, let's go! Big trouble. Bobby! You don't understand. I only have one bullet left and I've never hit a moving target in my life. So here he comes. What you thinking? Did I shoot five or I shoot six, huh? Go on, go for it, Don't punk. See me. Ha ha. You know this one's loaded. <laughs> they were beautiful. Ooh. All right, look. We'll send somebody back for you and your buddy. Come on. Uh, oh, damn it. Easy. All right, watch my side. Slow, man, slow! Damn it. Well, those guys won't need these guns anymore. I'll tell you one thing. June's gorgeous front porch really saved... 
It was a mobile home. We gotta stop. How are we gonna stop this thing? Oh, mercy. I'm gonna stop it. Can we get a ride in Palm Springs, please? What do you think, honey? You sure can. Yeah, bring the young lady with you, too, will you, please? Yeah. Y'all come right in. God bless you, sir. Well, buckle up. Here we go. It's luck. Okay, look. You're going back to Willow Springs, right? Give this to Beverly when you get there. Yeah. Go to that general store down there. See if you can't pick me up a box of these hollow tips, all right? A whole box. Uh, can I go with you? You and those were marvelous today, but I gotta go to the for you, okay? Go get me those shells now. Hello? Yes, yeah, she's here. Beverly, it's for you. Is that you, Cody? <laughs> yeah, no, I'll be okay. Where are you? No, Cody, Cody, wait. Just wait for me to bring some backup, please. A little gift from Shane before he got knocked off. What do you think, Liza? I don't like it, or your despicable friends. How dare you get me involved in this? I invest in your company, and you show me films of the jerk chauffeur making out with Anita? What the hell is this all about, anyway? All right, everybody, this party's over. Now move out. Now! <coughs> you and you stay. What the do you think you're doing? This is my home, and these are my clients. How dare you break in here? Sit down! Why? Why what? Why'd you kill Shane? I didn't kill anybody. You killed Shane. You don't have to listen to any of this. You... I like you very much. So you'd be doing real good. Just uh, sit there and be a good old boy. Now shut up! The night of the party, you went into Shane's room. You not only stabbed him, but then you shot him. And then you made it look like your brother Stuart did it. You have no evidence. This photo says I do. What the hell is going on? Lieutenant, just in time. Beverly, sure was good to see you up and around. It's hard to keep a good cop down. You want to explain this to me, Cody? I think you'll find this quite interesting, Lieutenant. Our little lady here is quite busy. Damn you, Cody, what are you doing? Would you get this off of me? I'll be dead. Here, take a look at this. Both Liza and Jonathan were arrested. Case closed, right? Not so. I'd made a mistake. The next morning, I invited everyone involved to meet me on my boat. Oh, damn, not them again. We gonna get you your pink slip time, boy. OK, look, I, I feel it's only fair to warn you, though. This here's my daddy's car. He's got it all gussied up with power. We got your gussied up. My son here's a mechanical genius, and we got a car just waiting for you over at the racetrack. Uh, racetrack? Are you guys serious? Well, hey, Daddy, just a little old Camaro ain't nothing special. <laughs> That's right. Once again, you're gonna eat our dust. <laughs> That's right. By all means, then, lead the way. Follow us! Follow us! Come on! Chili and tamale brick. <laughs> uh, 
I don't eat that stuff, man. What I want is a filet mignon, cheese, and some champagne. Uh, whatever you say, <laughs> Bean Bag. <laughs> what the hell did he say? Oh, no. Here. Let's line this thing up. Line him up. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, here today. Liza, would you come out here? Can you believe this, Beverly? We just arrested uh, her last night. Lieutenant, what's What the hell is she doing here? You all know Liza. Certainly the Lieutenant and Beverly know Douglas F. Wilton, former district attorney and now high-ranking government official and chairman of my daddy's yacht club committee. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, get comfortable and let me explain it to you. I'd been up all night long at the CIA building with Douglas Wilton. By nine this morning, we'd gotten Liza released from jail. But three hours earlier, around six this morning, I was coming back from Willow Springs where I'd gone to pick up my car. On the way back to my boat, I needed a cup of coffee. Damn, if I didn't run into Peggy, one of the pretty girls from the health club. Hi, Cody. Peggy. How are you? I can't complain. Coming to the gym today? Uh, not today, pretty lady. Been up all night working. Oh, I can get a big picture of that. Picture. Picture. That's it. That was the key. I had it all the time, right in front of me in black and white. I've been chased so hard by those three animals, I never really studied it. I thought it was Liza. This picture isn't Liza. How did you know it wasn't me? Well, it didn't hit me for a while. We all know that you're left-handed. Everything you do is with your left hand. Shane's drawer was pried open by a right-handed person. You could tell by the scratches. The killer in the picture Shane took was holding the gun in the right hand. Well, it couldn't have been you, Liza. You ain't right-handed. But if it wasn't me and it wasn't Stuart, who did kill Shane? I knew it had to be a woman because the height of the killer in the photo. Now, all the guys around here are over six feet tall. Couldn't have been the maid because I don't think she's smart enough to disguise herself. Anita was too drunk. Lady Lillian had her leg in a cast. The only one left was Luciana. Luciana? But I thought she was with you. So did I. After I left Peggy at the coffee shop, I went straight to Contessa Luciana's house. I figured that since she'd left town, I'd have to break in. But I didn't know it would be this easy. She'd left me a key and a note telling me to go on in. Well, I went on in, found another note telling me to play a tape recorder. <laughs> this lady was way ahead of me. Cody, by the time you hear this, I'll be in Hawaii. 
I knew you wouldn't let an innocent person go to jail. I did leave you some obvious clues, and I knew your analytical mind would eventually find them all. I remembered the first time we made love. <laughs> you were thirsty afterward. So the next time we made love at the Chamberlain house after the party, it was easy for me to give you a sleeping powder. Then I went downstairs to Shane's room and killed him. myself as Liza in case I was spotted. Shane took a picture of me before he died. I purposely pried open his drawer from the right side. Then I intentionally took the wrong camera. I counted on you to figure out that the person in the picture was not Liza. Shane was about to ruin the lives of people I love. He was Jonathan Harper's courier to the Russians. I'm not just another pretty face. Of course you will keep it confidential that I work for the government, specifically Douglas Wilton. Douglas and I plan Shane's elimination. Well, there are some things I can't tell you. But Luciana was investigating Jonathan Harper. Shane worked for Harper. They were selling computer secrets to the Russians. No one had been able to catch them. Shane's murder brought in the police. The federal agents needed to do this to conceal their involvement. The police? Well, they promptly arrested Stewart by mistake. Did Luciana send me those awful pictures? And why? Well, to throw the blame on Stewart. I knew the pictures I sent of Shane with Anita, plus the pictures the police found of Shane with Stewart, would make Stewart the prime murder suspect and allow me time to get out of town. Lift the red cloth and you will see how I disguise myself as Liza. As you know, I'm an artist. I was able to make a mask similar to this one and wear it the night I killed Shane. As I mentioned, I'm in Hawaii. Two things are clear to me. One, I had you figured correctly. You're not only a very attractive man, I can't wait. I'm counting the days. Ciao, Cody. Mi amore. Oh, my. You see, Jonathan was convinced that Liza killed Shane because of the information he got from Maid Marian. He sent those two outlaws to the Chamberlain Beach House and then the three stooges to my boat in the racetrack to try to kill me and get back the film. He wanted to protect Liza and her money. Funny thing is, if he had gotten a hold of that film, he would have blackmailed her for the rest of her life. Greed is such an awful thing. Between murder, blackmail, and selling computer secrets to our enemies, I think Jonathan's going to be put away for a long, long time. I do wish Luciana hadn't killed Shane. It's such an inconvenience. Good help is so very hard to find, you know. Except where you're concerned, Cody. You're just a wonderful cowboy. Why, you'd help any woman in distress, wouldn't you? Yes, ma'am, I would. Oh, Cody Abilene. My Abilene. <laughs> he left his pony somewhere down in Texas And headed for the bright lights of L.A. He made a lot of ladies cry When he told them goodbye And headed out Across the Lone Star State He still wears a beat-up Stetson And his blue jeans His cowboy boots and a big old 44 He drinks his whiskey straight The only thing he likes to chase Is bad guys and ladies of the night So don't ever think the cowboys are all gone Cause there's always one around to prove you wrong There'll always be cowboys in the world You might be buying him drinks while he
Ladies, if you run across our hero, be careful of his smooth talking ways. He's just looking for romance, and if you want to take a chance, it just might be your lucky day. So don't ever think the cowboys are all gone There's always one around to prove you wrong There'll always be cowboys in the world You might be buying him drinks while he's There'll always be cowboys in the world.